and welcome back to Pro Plans YouTube channel. Uh, what we're going to be going over today are uh, not so much basic steps, but steps in getting your website ranked on Google for keywords. Uh, there's a huge difference in between. Uh, there's a huge difference in having website rank and having keyword rank. Uh, keyword rank is what you want. I'm just going to throw some tips out there real quick, and then I'm going to go over these steps. Uh, and then at the end, I'm also going to give you some more tips so you can uh, use to build off what, I, what you've learned here. Um, a lot of people who use our website, ProPlans.org, um, say that these are by far the best training techniques and the best training courses they've ever had because of the way I teach. Um, you're going to get a lot from this. Okay, so let's check it out. Um, All right, so um, let's, okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to do some reading here. All righty, let's, let's start on these uh, tips. All right, so a lot of people focus on website rank. They go to Alexa, they go to Google, they check this rank system, and they're focusing on that. This is not what you need to be focusing on. You need to be focusing on your, on your keyword visibility, your keyword rank. When you type a keyword phrase in the search engine, is your website coming up first, third, or dead last, or not even on the first page? You need to be focusing on that. Do not focus on Alexa, you know, all that stuff, because it's, it's gonna, you're, you're losing um, sidetrack. Now, you also do need rank, though. That shows credibility with Google. Um, and, you know, nobody goes to Alexa to say, hmm, is this website credible? Should I click on it? Let me go look at Alexa real quick and look at it, its rank first. No, they don't do that. Um, and, and, and if they have to get to the 10th page to find your website, they're definitely not going to. Uh, so make sure that you're focusing on keyword visibility and not keyword, uh, I'm sorry, uh, website ranking. All right. Uh, I, I don't have as many tips as I wanted to for you. Um, this is actually the second time I've had to record this video. So let's move on to the, the steps. All right, step one. You have to figure out what keywords you are going to use to describe your product, company, service, or mission. You need to make sure that these keywords are the best choices. Your top ten keywords are going to be the biggest impact your website has. Um, these keywords are what people are, are using in their search engines to find your website. So, with uh, search engine optimization, if you're wanting to learn on it, a good keyword would be is how to optimize my website for search engines. Even though it's a long tail keyword, it's still a keyword, which long tail keywords are starting to become more important. However, just stick to some small keywords for right now. Uh, you know, after the 10 is when you want to start using long tail keywords. Anyway, um, so make sure that your 10 keywords are very good. Uh, real quick, if you actually go to ProPlans.org, there is an article on how to use a Google, Ad, a Google Keyword Tool. Um, it is very important you know how to use this tool. And, you know, uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of humility to make sure that you, you, you know the tools you're using. Um, and not just because you've been doing web design for this many years that, you know, you shouldn't have any problem. Make sure you know how to use this stuff. Uh, so, uh, for instance... If you look here, oops, okay, so if you look here real quick, you have match types, all right? This is very important. You never want broad. You always want phrase. Phrase is the important one that you want. All right, let's move on. So, the next step, keep your links as they are. Instead of changing the link names to, like, learn more or uh, read more or um, find out more, whatever, Make sure they stay with a keyword in them. And let me just show you for example here. Um, okay, so right here I could have added a title and bold. And it says, you know, could have said Cincinnati, Ohio Web Design. I made my link Cincinnati, Ohio Web Design also. Because that's the keyword I want to rank for. And actually, when I click on this, look, YouTube and social media, this is the keyword I want. When I click on it, it's actually in the link. YouTube and social media SEO, that is what you want, folks. You want to make sure 
that you are ranking for, uh, or I'm sorry, not ranking, you want to make sure that all of your links use keywords. Never learn more, never, uh, uh, you know, um, click here, none of that. Make sure you're using a keyword. That's an extra spot that really counts. Um, and people are, are just flatly ignoring it. Um, so make sure that all your links, all of them, are um, used for um, are using keywords and actually let me show you a mistake I've made you see the date that is a good way of showing Google um, you know that it's updated however you would much rather have a keyword there um, than you know uh, than the date so that's one way I messed up but you know what this website is uh, it, it's all under redo and all that stuff it's got a really good rank uh, I do very well on it. So anyway, okay, let's go on. Let's move on. Um, share the love. Link to articles, blogs that your customers may enjoy. This builds your SEO karma. You get what you give when it comes to link building. It really is true. Um, you need to make sure Google is really taking this uh, serious, you guys. I mean, they really, really are. Um, Google believes that you should share your 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 customers, and I do too. So make sure when you have blog, say you have some blog spots right here, or you use another page, and you have two paragraphs, and um, so I'm talking about YouTube and social media, for instance, uh, inside of this, and I do, um, I start telling how backlinking uh, and link building works the same with YouTube. It, it does. Um, as it's the same as website backlinking as it is with YouTube backlinking. Okay, so I only briefly describe how to use uh, backlinks with YouTube. And then I also say that um, the link is not learn more, but I say if you want to learn more about backlinking, SEO backlinking, check out our other article. And what it does is it links you to um, one of our articles down lower uh, about backlinking and how to uh, properly build SEO uh, links, uh, backlinks. Um, so you, you want to make sure that you are showing references and people are using them. What that shows Google is that people are coming to your website and they're using your website as a network, okay? Um, what happens is, is, okay, for instance, Say somebody reads this whole article, and then they come back and they click on the link that I provided. That is going to give Google more brownie points than if they click the back button and then open up another article. Okay, You want to uh, keep giving your customers reading material or whatever it is. You want to keep providing them with product that they're using. So you want to provide these backlinks for people. Um, Backlinking just isn't something that you use on other people's website to link your site to. It is something you need to be using for recommendations, references, and definitions, uh, and tons of other stuff. And it works just as well as if you're backlinking to another page, from one page to another. Yes, they have the site menu there, but if you're talking about a, a, a topic and you have more information on that topic, reference it. It does give you a backlink. So you can backlink your website from each page, and it is important to do that. Um, real quick, just throw a tip in there. It's important to also use uh, this menu here, and then use another menu down here on the side that has all different names. I'll explain more later. Uh, just I'm throwing out some tips, I'm throwing out some information here. Uh, you know, take it as it as it comes, I guess. Okay. Uh, next step. You, um, oh, make sure that your articles and your blogs, uh, that they're linkable and they're shareable. This is a big thing with Google. What this shows Google is, okay, say you don't have any share link or uh, anything like that. You can't share your, your, your topics, uh, your posts. What it does is it prevents Google from really knowing how much people like your stuff. Um, if 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 somebody really likes this 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 um, this blog post, they're going to click share. They're going to click like, which you can do that inside. Um, I actually just took uh, took it off here, but anyway, um, 
they're going to like it. They're going to show it on their social media network, whatever it may be. Okay, and that tells Google that they like that article. That means that you have better content. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Google, the top ten websites are great. They're not good. They're great. Okay, because Google is a great search engine. That's how they look at it. So if the website above yours has like and shares, even if they're not getting very many, Google is going to put them above you because they have um, likes and shares. It is very important to make sure that people in some way, shape, or form can either share your content or like your content. Another thing is, um, with the sharing, is it, it, it opens up new doors and, and brings new traffic in by them sharing it. And it, open, it, it really broadens your uh, circles um, for traffic uh, resources. So uh, make sure that you're doing that. Okay, use as little flash as possible. Seriously, because spiders cannot read flash. This is another step, by the way. Um, you notice how my website is not flashy at all. And it won't be, because Google cannot read flash. It kind of falls with um, code block. Um, for instance, if you use... If you have an article, you know, and it's all words, and you're like constantly making things bold, you're constantly using, you know, different uh, font, font, what happens is when spiders run over, they're moving like this, and then when they hit a code, they got to slow down, and then they speed back up, then they hit another code, they got to slow down, then they speed up, they got to use another code. When it takes a while to run spiders over your website, Google does not rank you as high. Because it takes too long to figure out what the hell your, <clears throat> excuse me, what the heck your website is about. So you want to make sure that spiders go can go over your website fast. Um, and then when it comes to Flash, well, the spiders just don't understand it. It's a totally different code, and so you, you're you're less likely to get ranked, and it takes longer and all that. Um, also, um, very very important is when you bold a text. It is considered a header for Google, okay? Google ranks your website foremost, first, off of the headers. It describes your website. So when the spiders run over my website, they see Cincinnati Web Design, Cincinnati Web Design, Cincinnati, Ohio Web Design, switch it up a little bit, and SEO, um, and Cincinnati Web Design, then they start seeing the other topics because it's that's my secondary uh, part of my website is the free SEO training, which, uh, you know, there's like 30 uh, blog posts on there. There's a lot of content on here for this stuff, and it'll really help you out if you want to check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, however, um, so, which this website is changing. We have a how-to Google ranking site. It's brand new. Uh, it's howtogoogleranking.com. And all this content is getting moved over there, and this is going back to a web designing company. Uh, no real serious reasons or anything. We're still doing really good. Our company is doing excellent. Actually, it's doing better than it's ever done. Um, it, it's, it's doing amazing. It really is. We just hired uh, two other web techs. So, and you would think this would stop people from purchasing our services. No, we got a really good reputation. Uh, okay, so uh, I need to check the time here. All right, we got about two minutes left, so I am going to finish it up like this. Um, yeah, we're okay. So, you know, uh, spiders can read titles and descriptions of your images. So, you need to make sure, like I said, the quality of the content is so important. And that is what I'm going to end this video in because it's very important to make sure that your images, um, they have descriptions. Make sure even the name of that, like, the name of this um, image is YouTube SEO because it's a keyword and I want to rank for that keyword on my website. It's one more proof that this website is about YouTube SEO or SEO. Make sure that your images and that you are using images have good descriptions that have good keywords in them. And make sure also that your description isn't just keywords. Google will they'll, they'll catch that. Um, but also, your site titles, all that 